it's got to be hot and you want a ton of it. Today we're going to be cooking some chicken thighs with uh, pesto uh, cream sauce and uh, we've got $200 to spend today so we're going to go in there and try to spend that. We have a crew of 10 guys, everybody throws in 20 bucks for the shift so 200 bucks and that's what I get to make food with so everybody pitches in, make does their part, 10 bucks. I got to make meals, four meals for the next two days with $200 so we'll see what we can do. I'm in charge of the salad tonight. That's what Ryan told me to do, and uh, I'm gonna make my famous uh, salad for his Italian food. <laughs> Pretty basic. A lot of times when you see us walking around the store, we're actually cooking and in, in our heads <laughs> to figure out what's on sale and what we're gonna be able to afford for the day. So the menus sometimes alternate. Today we're gonna keep it simple though. We made it, under budget. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have, have a good day. day. Thank we'll you. We'll see you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a I like to cook. I really, I, I really like to cook. I started cooking when I was uh, like 12 years old in my aunt's restaurant in Texas. So coming on the fire department kind of just went hand in hand because all these guys got to eat every single day. We're doing a uh, pesto cream chicken today for dinner with gluten-free pasta. Everything that we cook, the first thing we do is we eat with our eyes. So I try to make everything look good first. So I take the chicken from store-bought looking to at least having a little bit of, of uh, edible quality to it. My grandfather was an old timey camp cook. So he'd cook on Dutch ovens and stuff. And we went to national competitions and won. And, and so I grew up cooking. And if I wasn't a firefighter, I would more than likely be cooking. I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper because in the firehouse, everybody loves a little bit of heat. If the rescue's out running a call and they're gone for an hour, the food, I want the food to be just as good for them when they come home in an hour as it was for the crews that get to eat it fresh. Got all the colorful veggies and uh, since there's time for the food to be cooked, we're just gonna saran wrap it and keep it a little sealed until dinner's ready, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna saute the chicken to get it a little bit golden on each side. So we're gonna cook about three to five minutes on each side, flip them over, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven to hold and uh, to finish cooking. And there she goes. So now we're gonna make our uh, pesto cream sauce. We take the dripping from the chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and cook some onions and garlic. Saute that down. So once I saute or uh, get the uh, onions and garlic sauteed down a little bit, almost to clear for the onion, I add uh, however much cherry tomatoes I have. Some went into the salad, so we're a little bit, a little bit light. Tomatoes are gonna start to kind of blister a little bit. And once they get to that point, I take a potato masher and I mash them all up. So the next thing we're gonna add is four cans of uh, pesto sauce. So now once this is all simmering, I'm gonna add my 32 ounces of heavy whipping cream. As it heats, it'll thicken a little bit and then I'll take the chicken, I'll put it right back in there, put it back in the oven and then let it simmer until, it's, until the chicken is all completely cooked. The final touch on the uh, is pine nuts. Ciao, come get it, ciao. And what you hope for is a quiet dinner. Because if everybody's quiet, that means you cooked a good meal. If everybody's yapping, they're not eating. 
And there it is, chow is served, station eight.